Hey, it's Neha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am making Suji Laddu. Let's get started. Warm up your pan and add one teaspoon of ghee and a little bit of raisins. The raisins actually depends on how many of those laddus that we're going to make. Once you remove the raisins from the pan, just add in two tablespoons of ghee and one cup of suji. So just keep stirring it until all that ghee is melted and everything is mixed in together. And then we'll grab one cup of milk And just stir that. You want a smooth consistency with the suji. You don't want it to be grainy. So I'll just add in my milk slowly just so that it incorporates well together. And if you touch it right now, it's still pretty grainy. So what we're going to do is add in about a third cup of milk. and cook this on low heat. Add in a third cup of sugar. Mix it together. You can definitely add brown sugar to this too if you prefer. So we're gonna let this cool down a little bit. And then we're gonna roll it up into little laddus, little balls. And the reason why I do it this way is that, so I did this recipe for Diwali and it was a lot easier to just put in little laddus rather than just keep it like a suji kahawa. And then here, if you want, you can definitely add in some nuts. You can add in some like almonds, pistachios, anything that you like just to incorporate it all together. But I'm gonna show you my way of doing the little suji laddu. And you can add in less sugar if you like. That one third of a cup that I added in for the sugar, it is pretty sweet, but I like things sweet. <laughs> While our suji is cooling down, let's just do the topping. So I do have some dried roses here and we're just going to use the petals. So you can get this at your local grocery store, at some Indian stores. And usually what we do with this is drink it as a tea. But today will be our topping for the suji laddu. With the roses as toppings, I'm also using pistachios. So just remove the outer shell and then just put it, just grind it up a little bit. And this is how you want it. You don't want it too fine or too big. So this is all you need, about five to six pistachios and about three to four rosebuds. They're so pretty that it will make the laddus look really, really cute and really beautiful. So this is my little working station. Just grab one little piece of dough and then you just wanna put a little bit of a, just a tiny hole and then Remember those raisins that we started with? There we go. And then either you just duck it in, and there we go. One little let do. <laughs> this is it. This is my recipe for the suji ladu. And again, I do it this way just so that it's easier when we're giving out the treats to our friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you try this. Thank you so much for watching.